take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Whoa! Oh, 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 and now he's hit. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, they can get the night down and land it right on the spot. That's how you finish a fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. It is a featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Bruce Leroy, Alex Caceres. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so it's truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Leroy Casares. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, green through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has a body. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. 
Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Right hand upstairs. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by Caceres. Engages in a single collar tie here. Relax, relax. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, effective strike there by Caceres. Man! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively. For yeah. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Slips that left hand. Caceres gets the takedown. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Caceres. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. How good is that right hand? Oh, single collar tie here. Shot is blocked there by Caceres. Oh, big head kick. Connects with the right. Slips the punch nicely there. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in his zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. Oh, man, how many head kicks can we... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. shots DC but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations it's because he's not that's a perfect scramble right there beautiful transition Ooh, what a punch oh the master of the transition nice scramble well it's not due to a lack of effort he continues to throw but this is like double a striking this is not high level yeah you can't be missing it takes so much energy to just throw a strike but oh! Every 
time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Oh, yeah. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. He got him back! Huge elbows! Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. As he got. Viserys gets caught, and it was a big elbow there. Lee's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. 20 seconds left to go in round two. All oh, right to the mound. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing. But getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat. Big kick lands. Right hand on point. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Take one of them, they can get the night down and land it right on the spot. That's how you finish your fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner.